Today we're talking about the Soho A-Frame easel, one of our very economical studio easels at Jerry's Artorama, but don't let that price point fool you. It's actually a really, really awesome easel for the money. Now I'm saying this because I actually have owned two of these over time. I also own about a $2,000 uh, double-masted studio easel uh, that uh, we were discussing this before we were filming that I've I shown breed Great Danes that my Great Danes have somehow managed to put through a window in my studio out into the yard. But with the Soho A-frame easels that I have, even with them kind of playing and running around, they've actually never toppled one of these over, which is astonishing. So for, so for an A-frame easel, this has a very sturdy footprint, even with shaking it, it's, it's extremely sturdy for an A-frame easel if you've ever used one. Um, I really like them because no matter where I used them in my house, I had a, a Victorian style house. Um, it actually looks more like a nice piece of furniture in the house, not just you know a cheap easel like an aluminum easel or, or something else that just doesn't you know look nice. That's that's not you know very pretty to look at as well as functional. Um, uh, nice features on this that I use, I don't, not every artist, this, the tray down here is fantastic for just piling with brushes. Um, I tend to want to hold a bunch of brushes in my hand. I don't have, I've got buckets of brushes in different places that aren't always accessible. When I know I'm working on a smaller painting, which is what I use these for, I can cram the brushes down there that I know I'm going to need so they're right there. Um, I can usually tuck a rag kind of over the side. Um, it's nice because if I do pastel work, you can actually, you know, adjust the mast and have it tilt forward for that little bit. Um, the tray catches the dust, so you can just vacuum it up. That's another nice thing. It's got, for an A-frame easel, a really nice deep wide tray uh, with a panel groove in it so that it's easy to, um, to put a panel for doing pastel work. Um, at 91 inches tall, it's, it will accept up to a 53 inch canvas, which is great. Some of you are saying 91 inches, that's not the most portable. I've actually gotten one of these in an older Mercedes sedan to take to a studio that I also work at just because I like it so much, it's so stable. I know if kids or different people are coming in and out of it, nobody's going to knock my work down. Um, the footprint on these is much smaller than the average studio easel. It's 26 inches by 30 inches. So it still gives you lots of floor room, so it's a great just extra easel for if you've got friends that come over. Um, sometimes I teach students, so I would use those for my students. But it will still fold up completely flat um, if you've got, you know, just a spare bedroom where you've got a bed. You can shove it under there. You can put it in a closet you can kind of put it in the corner out of the way. So it's very versatile for still being a nice quality wood easel. Um, so the Soho Studio A-Frame Easel, it is a great, incredible price point for an A-Frame Easel, but gives you really good, the quality of wood, uh, a nice, you know, real furniture look. And just saying from experience, uh, this, is, this is a great easel, I highly recommend it.